Hello students, myself, Assistant Professor Nikhil Bosle from Computer Science AML Department, KID College of Engineering, Kolhapur. Today, we are looking with the Unit 2 number system and we will be understanding about the number system. Here, we will be looking up with the concept of number system and then after that, we will be understanding about how we do the conversion from binary to decimal, octal to decimal and hexadecimal to decimal. So, the decimal number system is represented from the numbers as 0 to 9. So, basically, the decimal system has base 10. Binary numbers are represented either as 0 or 1 and the base is 2. Octal number is represented from 0 to 7 and the base is 8. Hexadecimal number is represented from 0 to 9. A to F represents the number as 10 to 15 respectively. That is 10 represents A, 11 represents B, up to 15 represents F. So, this is the representation of the number system of four types that is decimal, binary, octal and hexadecimal. So, at the first, we will consider the three types. The first, we will try to understand how to convert the binary, octal and hexadecimal, binary, octal and hexadecimal to decimal number system ok in the type 1 conversion we will be understanding how the binary octal and hexadecimal is converted into decimal number system so here if a binary number is represented as 1010 zero, zero, and that we have to convert into the decimal number system then we have to use as a power of 2 because here the radix is 2, we have to, uh, for example, if the number is 1010, zero, zero, basically we have to represent here as 0, 1, 2 and 3, the radix is 2 to 2 into 1 into the 1 value into 2 raised to 3 plus 0 into 2 raised to 2 plus 1 into 2 raised to 2 plus 0 into 2 raised to 0 and we will get the decimal value equivalence. In the octal, if the number is again 1725, first initially we have to place here as 0, 1, 2 and 3. As it is octal, we have to give with the radix of 8. So, it will be 1 into 8 raised to 3 plus 7 into 8 raised to 2 plus 2 into 8 raised to 1 plus 5 into 8 raised to 0. And after the decimal point number, it is represented as minus 1 and minus 2. So, 4 into 8 raised to minus 1 plus 3 into 8 raised to minus 2. So, this is the way how the octal number is converted into decimal number system. The next is again the conversion of the hexadecimal number system to decimal number system. So, the process will be how we have to use the radix as 16. Okay, whatever numbers are represented, that number we have to represent it from 0 to, for example, see here, here the value will be 0, here the value will be 1, here the value will be minus 1, here the value will be minus 2. So, the value will be 5 into 16 raised to 1 plus 4 into 16 raised to 0 plus d, d is equivalent to what value? a is 10, b is 11, c is 12, d is 13. So, it is 13 into 16 raised to minus 1 plus 2 into 16 raised to minus 2. So, the calculation of the value with the decimal 10. Okay. So, this is how in the first part we have understood how the conversion from the decimal, octal and binary to the decimal conversion system. In short, we will understand again If a number is, for example, 
we'll take some random number as pi 3 8 point 3 f to be converted to decimal okay first what we have to do we have to take the part as pi 3 8 give the power here as 0 1 and 2 next we have to take the value of 5 into what is the radix 16 raised to 2 plus 3 into 16 raised to 1 plus 8 into 16 raised to 0 the remaining part is 3 and f which is the decimal part 3 should be represented as minus 1 f should be represented as minus 2 so the next part will be 3 into 16 raised to minus 1 plus what is the value of f f is 15 so it is 15 into 16 raised to minus 2 and that is the result value of this operation so for the binary the radix should be 2 and for the actor octal the radix should be 8 so in the next lesson we will be understanding how all the decimal numbers are converted into binary and then octal and then hexadecimal thank you